This guy's beating his meat. What's good, it's your boy Twiz. I gotta ask you a question, man. Did hell freeze over? I'm currently looking outside of my window to verify that pigs are not flying. Dude, I got a major bombshell to drop on you. Sony, as we speak, they are holding an open beta that anyone on the PS4 can get into that will allow full crossplay functionality with all the other consoles. Currently, it's limited to just testing on Fortnite. They're running their tests. They're doing something on their end to see how well it can work. And we all know that it will actually work pretty good because it's been done in the past on accident, right? Tenderize that turkey. Is it, is there something else to this? Do I get, do I unlock something at a certain score? Beat that bird. Just, uh... But this is a big deal and expect when these tests are over for more games to get into this expect to start being able to play plenty of games with your friends no matter what consoles you're on for those of you that have not been keeping up let me explain why this is a big deal ever since fortnite first took off epic games the creators of fortnite their mission was to allow fortnite to be played anywhere and as you know, Fortnite took the world by storm. Fortnite actually has more people playing it and it makes more money than PUBG. It, it took over the battle royale genre. It took PUBG's spot. And so it's not unusual for consoles to go cross-platform PC. Consoles typically don't go cross-platform with each other, however, because they consider themselves competition. And if you go cross-platform with your competition, if you're the, currently the winning platform, in this case, Sony, they saw it as helping their competitor. Oh wow, is this gonna be a free hit? Free hit, free hit. Wow, I can't, I'm gonna kill him from here. That's how you cheese the game, ladies and gentlemen. And that's how you cheese it. So of course, Microsoft and Nintendo, Android and iOS, they're all about crossplay. They didn't care. But Sony wanted to use their current market position to their advantage. They wanted to leverage the fact that you could only play with people on PlayStation on PlayStation as a reason to get people who own the other consoles to switch over. Chances are most of your friends are on the PlayStation. If you're on an Xbox or Switch, most of your friends are playing Fortnite on a PlayStation. If Sony allows cross-platform with the Xbox, you don't have a reason to go out and buy a PlayStation. At least that's Sony's logic on it. A new gun? Super shotgun. <laughs> Finally something good. I'm gonna have some fun with this bad boy. As if a shotgun isn't bad enough, now you gotta add super to it. But let's talk about why Sony may have changed their minds on this. And there are plenty of theories. And to tell you the truth, I am just speculating. But here is the current popular theory. There's been multiple times when Sony was proven wrong about the difficulty of cross-platform play. First, Epic accidentally turned it on and proven that it was easy to do. After that, Sony basically lied and said their reason for not doing it was because they wanted to protect people on the PlayStation Network from the other consoles. But it's been pointed out again that Nintendo has always been the most safety oriented when it comes to anything in their games, including the internet. And then Nintendo allows cross-platform play. It doesn't make any sense at all for Sony not to do it. So that was basically proven wrong. And then here recently, they gave another bullshit excuse. They're saying the reason we don't want cross-platform play, because we believe that the best place to play Fortnite or to play games in general is on the PlayStation. Okay, I know that's opinionated, but best how? Horsepower, graphic-wise, frame rates? What are we talking? Because if you're talking about the absolute best place to play, um, we're talking PC. I mean, I could also play on a PC without paying a monthly, a monthly fee, but we're going to let that go right now. Chainsaw this bad boy. Come on. Go! Ah, the chainsaw failed. No, 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 no! Fuck you. The most recent thing that I think actually backfired on Sony. Remember how Sony was doing that lockout thing where once you tie your Fortnite account to the Sony PlayStation, you were unable to use that same account on the Nintendo Switch. So when Fortnite released on a Nintendo Switch months later, and a lot of people found out at the last minute that they could not log into their Fortnite account, of course, they got angry. Of course, they got upset, but still, Sony stood their ground and they would not release the hounds. Well, remember, 
Sony was trying to force people to buy into the PlayStation ecosystem because, hey, if you want to play your friends on PlayStation, you got, you know, you got to get a PlayStation. But see, here's what happened. The Nintendo Switch is a very popular console. It actually gained more popularity than what was expected. You see, the Nintendo Switch has a very unique position in the video game community. Most people either buy a PlayStation or Xbox. They're seen as competitors and they have some overlap when it comes to the popular titles. So most people do not buy both these systems. You're either a PlayStation guy or an Xbox guy. However, the Nintendo Switch has positioned themselves, hey, why not get a PlayStation and get a Nintendo? Why not get an Xbox and get a Nintendo? So it's not uncommon for people to own a PlayStation and a Nintendo Switch. So what was happening is, when these people tried to log on to their Fortnite accounts on their Nintendo Switches, they, they couldn't. Once your account is tied to PlayStation, you can't play it on another console. Um, are they fighting? I think they're fighting. Dude, they're fighting. Oh my God, look. So of course, PlayStation, Sony, they stood their ground. They wouldn't release it. They just left it the way it was. But here's what started happening, man. Because you can play Nintendo Switch on the go, you have the convenience to play it on the go. And if you want to, you could also play on a Nintendo Switch from the comfort of your own home on a big screen TV, just like a PlayStation. A lot of people that knew after the fact, a lot of people just started playing only on a Nintendo Switch and not playing so much on a PlayStation. So effectively, Sony's own policy actually started to backfire on them. Now, once again, I don't know if this is the reason why they decided to change, but I know it is a factor because I have several friends that told me as much. They made new Fortnite accounts on the Switch and they no longer play it on the PlayStation. Whoa, 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 don't you dare run at me. So what does this mean for the rest of the games going forward? Well, there have been interviews with Activision Blizzard as well as a couple other companies that have cross-platform games to see when this will open up for them. So far, the only one who is officially taking advantage of the open cross-platform is Fortnite. And my thoughts on it, I don't think we're gonna see that many games retrofitted with the cross-platform play because I'm pretty sure Sony is adding in some sort of requirement or stipulation that games that are already out and pretty much finished aren't really gonna be able to update to take advantage of. So this is probably more focused on the games of the future. There might be a few games to slide through the cracks. There might be like a really popular game like Overwatch or maybe the Call of Duty that's not out yet, but coming out soon. Maybe that might be able to get in there with Sony if they negotiate correctly. Wait a minute, you see those dumbasses just hanging out out there? Y'all know what time it is, don't you? Oh. <laughs> what shot? But don't be too surprised if you don't see your current games get retrofitted. However, look forward to the games that are coming in years to come because this is going to be a big issue. Sony's not gonna sit here and let Nintendo and Xbox, and Android and iOS play all these games cross-platform and continue to look bad by not allowing it. Especially now that they're doing this and now that we know that they can do this, their fans are not gonna stand for it. I wanna know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Tell me why you think Sony's allowing this. Tell me why you think this is happening right now. Well, yeah, uh, Zach and, and also Larry, I had, I had fun playing games with you guys, man. I want to keep I want to keep doing that. I want to keep playing games together. Um, fuck! Thanks, Larry. With that said, I'm your boy Twiz. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. As always, as always, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Later, y'all.